Welcome back to Kirby's Adventure! Yes! We're on level 2, Ice Cream Island! Ah. Who did that? Uh, Alright. His, his dreams did. Haven't you ever gotten smacked in the face in your dreams? I've done that before. Uh, yeah, anyway. I've, I think I've smacked myself in my dreams before. But anyway. Oh. Some of this stuff should look familiar from Kirby's Dream Land. Yes, it does It's indeed. just like the ice... The, uh, uh, I, I forgot the name of level 2 of Kirby's Dream Land already. Because this game is so much better! Yeah. Show off the uh, Paris Soul ability here. Uh, World 2 here is, again, pretty straightforward. There's no uh, real hidden secrets or anything really kind of all that special, but eh, we'll still have a good time, I promise. Because so, now we're going to start getting to seeing what the rest of the game is like. We'll be having new uh, mini games and new rooms to open and all that stuff. And oh, all that stuff, so yeah. Hey, uh, what did Parasol do, anyway? Well, Parasol, uh, it's a pretty good attack on its own, but. It can also protect from falling projectiles, and when you jump, you can fall a little bit. Oh, okay. What the hell? I, I, I like my sword, though. Uh, it, it looked like the parasol floated away and then came back for revenge. And I, I think that's exactly what happened. Oh, that's, that's kind of funny. Another new power, Tornado! Ooh, ooh, get it, get it! Tornado! Yes! You're practically invincible. Practically. Then you're vulnerable, and then you're invincible again! Hey! <laughs> that's kinda cool. And that's the end of the stage. Oh, God, I'm glad Kirby doesn't, like, get motion sick or anything. <laughs> well, if that's the case, the series would have ended a long time ago. <laughs> Kirby, we have infused you with a centrifuge. Let's see how you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, new, one of these new games is Egg Catcher. I can never do this right because Kane Diddy will throw eggs and bombs at you. If you eat a bomb, you fail, and he always does this move where oh. he throws a bomb and then an egg in quick succession. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Ah, oh like god, bomb in the face. Yeah. 3,000 points, not bad. Yeah, who cares about score, because it resets. Every time we stop the game, oh. the score resets. Oh, well, alright. That, that is a cool power. Oh yeah, a lot of cool powers in Kirby. I guess I, I just never knew. <laughs> Yes. All right. Go figure that. Go figure the two Kirby's that I played. No powers. Epic Yarn and the original Dreamland. Yeah, I mean that you haven't even played Kirby then. <laughs> I, I haven't played true Kirby like OG Kirby. You played the two Kirby's that are like the least Kirby's that can still be <laughs> called Kirby's. <laughs> I, I mean, know. even the even it's the so puzzle terrible. games are even like the Game Boy puzzle games are more Kirby than the Kirby's <laughs> you've played. Anyway, you don't even know about Wheel. Let's go oh, fast. Oh shoot! Woo! <laughs> All right. Wheel's always gonna give you a good time in Kirby games. It's like it's one of the fucking staples. Slopes, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, that's that's actually really well done. Oh well, that's it. That's it. Holy crap! That was a quick level. Well, we, we had wheel. It went by a lot faster. I think that, that, go with me on this, is each level just mainly used to introduce new powers, you think? Maybe these first two worlds, but then the game will open up proper uh, soon enough. Gotcha. So oh. we're gonna go for this big one here. I'm gonna try uh, to do a little something here. Uh, big boy Kirby. Mm. Uh. Oh. oh, no. If you grab him a certain way, he should, like, get mad or something if, if he, like, goes slightly left. <laughs> really? And I can confirm, you can only grab one at a time. Gotcha. Oh, oh, man! Oh, no! They just stole my allowance! Stupid machine! Oh, no. No bonus. Now I don't have any lives in a Kirby game. What am I gonna do? Oh, no. Not lives. Alright, we still got wheel, though, so maybe we can make something work with that. <laughs> Yeah, let me just ricochet off everything, even if it's not even necessary. Woohoo! That's the best part. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you can get hurt while in wheel, right? Um, no. Well, uh, yes, but no. You can hit spikes, but enemies uh, are no oh, big okay. deal. I gotta get that. I got. I gotta get. I gotta. Uh. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. Do you need to use wheel? Nope. The Kirby! Kirby, no! There's a better way! Kirby! We're always listening to you! No! Uh, I, thought, uh, I, thought, 
fucked it up. I gotta try it again. I gotta try it again. I did it wrong. I did it so wrong. I gotta do it right now. Sorry for that mistake. I'm gonna do it right now. So, get the sword power. Mm -hmm. Then, hit just... Go to the edge and just those four. So you can jump on this oh. block and then BAM! Yeah! Oh, that's clever. And now you get your UFO power and a maximum tomato! Yes! Awesome. How about that neat shit? I don't know how much UFO is going to help you, because uh, a lot of narrow corridors here and a lot of spikes. But at least you don't have to worry about water physics. Oh, that's cool. You don't have to worry about most of the tracks of the NES because you, it's replaced with. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, so, in a sense, you're uh, speed running right now. <laughs> Frame skipping, sure. you know, music skipping. Yeah, I took an intentional death there to save time. <laughs> <laughs> Just to save frames. Come on, go. Speed run this Kirby. I bet there's like some way down there, but I don't want to deal with it because I like my UFO power. I want to keep it. It's a cool power. I worked hard for it. It doesn't appear often. I like having it. By the way, I noticed your little uh, your little dancing Kirby there next to your lives. He was doing like a merry jig when you died. So he was like really happy that you died. Yeah, uh -oh. he, he, he does that when you get close to death, I think. So, Meta Knight will come and show up. That was Beta Meta Knight, by the way. He didn't quite look like quite he did to, uh, like oh. he does nowadays. But uh, every so often he will show up and sick all of his cronies on you. Uh oh. Not very nice of him. You gotta beat all of them. We got the UFO power, though, so that kind of helps us out. And... Oh, he's dead. And... What? Oh. Oh. That was close. That was, that was very close. An, an intense game of Kirby this is. You're a master. Am I really? I mean, you're better than me. <laughs> Not because I played it. Well, yeah. Oh, you got forked! No, give, give it, give it, give it, give it! Give it. Okay. okay, good. UFO. UFO's still here. All right, we got it. Wow, this level's actually really long in comparison to the other one. Well, yeah. It's a bit of variety. <laughs> the other I mean, one if, was like, vroom, vroom, there we go. If they're all short, then it's like, well, geez, this isn't a very long game. If they're all long, it gets taxing and annoying. But if they're all just kind of one's long, one's short, then it's a bit of, you know, up in the air. Hmm. Now, on to level four. We lost our UFO power, so we'll head into the museum here. Oh, yeah, this does exist. Got laser and fire. Huh. Hmm. We'll go laser. Who doesn't love laser? <laughs> Kirby's got finger guns! Hey! Uh, pew! Pew, pew, pew! Bad guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you charge that laser? Uh, you cannot. Oh, okay. Not the, not this laser, at least. <laughs> what? There's more laser? Oh, no! Uh, oh, well. We'll get, we'll get laser back later, don't worry. Oh, it just, it just popped out of existence. It's like, nobody yeah. wants me, ah! Gotta, gotta hurry up and get it. Otherwise, it'll go away. You wouldn't know that because you didn't play a real Kirby game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. That's what this is going to amount to. It's like, oh, New School's never played a real Kirby game. Is that That's a giant what this alarm whole clock? series was about! I know. Well, I, I didn't know that until, you know, later when I just read about Kirby games. I never played them. But yes, that is an alarm clock. He's got the special power of Mike! Oh, cool! The Mike ability! Yay! I What's know this do? one. Well, you know what that does. We saw in Kirby's Dream Land. Exactly! Let's get a whole bunch of Scarfies on screen and... Uh... Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine the Mike power-up is used to, like, go against the establishment. It's just... You need to yell and... Oh, that was cool. Ricochet shots. Yep. I'd let you know that uh, you can ricochet shots with the laser. And if you missed it the last time, well, here it is again. But you don't get that one-up now, because you're going to need it, probably. Yep. Oh, that's so smart. Uh, let's go in here. Yeah, here we go. Oh! And God, I love smart games. I know! It's good design. The things work like that. Take anyway. note, game designers of the present. This is how you make a game. I wish they would, actually. <laughs> I really wish they would. It's it's the way a Kirby game feels, the way it looks, the way it plays, the way it's designed. You know, all of that is like it's it's just like candy to me. 
Who's the, uh, who's the main designer behind all the Kirby games? Uh, the guy who created it was, uh, Masahiro Sakurai. Oh, yeah, that's right. Good head on his shoulders, that Sakurai. One of the, one of the most, uh, smartest game developers I think I know. Anyway, at the arena now. Have we seen this yet? Probably not. Anyway, you fight, you face up against a mini boss, you fight him, you, and then you, well, you, you're supposed to kill him, and then you get his ability and a maximum tomato for your troubles. So, thank you. And we got freeze. Oh, and that's it? Oh. It's like a museum, but you gotta fight for it. But if you need a little bit of extra health and you want to take the risk of going to the arena to uh, get a maximum tomato, well, then oh, there you cool. go. And we lost already. And we got it back. All right. Welcome back to Freeze. Now, see how it kind of the level is, uh, oh. well, at least it's supposed to be designed around the fact that I got Freeze. I need to get it. Ah, fine. <laughs> Stay cool. Oh, no, it's gone. Never, never yeah, mind. Yeah, definitely get rid of it, getting rid of it if that's the case. <laughs> no, I want to use Mr. Freeze lines. They're so bad. Uh, no. All right. I'm going to see if I can get this right. This is like the first... Uh, Easiest place to do this first, but I gotta make sure it's done just right. Got two of these wheelies are up. Well, crap. Hang on, this will be worth it, I promise. Alright, alright. Alright. One wheelie, two wheelies. Okay. Need what to get them up to. Need to get them, like, together. If I can just. Oh, not quite, not quite. Oh, hang on, hang on. I almost got it. And... Ah, here... Uh, Whoa! There we go! Whoa, what? It's a mix! You inhale two enemies with abilities, well, that doesn't turn into a combination or anything, so you just mix it, and it becomes some random power. Oh, cool! Like how I should be using wheel here, but... <laughs> so what was down there? Probably some one-up or something. Oh, okay. But that's not the only secret that I that there's that there is in this world. Hmm. Like this door. I I'm sorry, I blinked. What? There is a door that looked like a window. Oh, and that's all that was in it. There's probably another opportunity to do another mix here if I'm doing this right. Ah. Ah, uh, fireball will do. Fireball. Sweet. Oh. Okay, maybe I got another uh, chance. Maybe I got one more chance at mixing them. Look at that dance! Go for it! Mm -hmm. There ah. we go! What do we get? Needle! Oh, sweet! So wait, is that, all, is that ah. all the powers? Um, Does it let you choose all of them? Well, not out of all the powers. I think there's uh, a couple we haven't seen yet, maybe. Okay. Uh, this is about this is about most of them. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it! Don't even like needle. We need a high jump anyway. Oh, that's high jump. Okay. Uh, oh man! Uh, Check the moon. Yep. Check the moon. Yeah, that's probably nothing. But then uh, again, knowing me, knowing uh, my luck, that's probably the one that <laughs> actually does have. <laughs> exactly. Uh, kind of wish I was playing the 3DS version of Kirby's Adventure. It was so cool in 3D. I'm so I'm so ashamed that they uh, ended up abandoning it. But that's Nintendo. They abandon things that, that uh, don't work out. Are you kidding? That's all they know are the things they constantly do uh, all the time. So why would they abandon anything? So this is a warp star station. This is how you get back to other levels. No. Oh. See, take the star that says one on it, and you're back at level one. Whoa! And now the boss door becomes a door to the next level. How about that hmm. shit? It's all right. Let's take care of the boss here now. And also, uh, worth mentioning, if uh, you, like, exit the game at any point, or, like, reset it, all the minigames reset, too. Oh, okay. So we can, like, get to level 7 and then reset the game and go back and do all the crane games and we can go into the final boss with, like, 87 lives or something. So this is Paint Roller. He paints stuff on things and they come to life. Ooh, cool. 
He would be easy if he didn't accidentally uh, lose the fight for himself. Or, what do you mean? I mean, he, I mean he, he would be difficult if he didn't lose the fight for himself already. So that's a car there, so I'll take my ability and just hit him. Oop. Oh well. So, uh, there's a microphone. Oh no. Oh no. And, well. <laughs> nice try, paint roller. Nice try. Alright. That does it for this episode of uh, Kirby's Adventure. And, well, hey, guess we'll see you next time for more Kirby fun. A little dance to say goodbye. Oh, I love this dance. Love the song. See you later. Uh -huh.